and welcome to another episode here on the Emigrator channel. So today I was going to just come outside and do some talking and I found it very difficult because today was one of those days that was so perfect that everybody had to be outside. And it's a good thing, you know. I mean, I can come outside and film at any point during the day. So what's good about the fact that I can come out is that I can bring you all along with me when it's the right time. So I was trying to get out here earlier and it was just so, I don't mean to say it was annoying, but it was really funny because I would start to film something and then all of a sudden a lawnmower would kick up and uh, my mic needs new batteries, um, my wireless mic, so I still need to get those. That's why I don't have my mic on. So uh, don't mind my shouting, but we're out here finally and it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's just Oh, it's amazing out. I mean, it is so perfect, and I don't know what it is, but suddenly uh, it's just, there's been a change in weather. It was so wet and so rainy, and this past week has just been, I mean, A-plus weather, so I have spent a lot of time outside. My peppers here are doing fantastic, too. Um, I, they weren't doing much, and I don't expect them to put out more than a couple peppers per plant, but these are my mega hots here, and they're doing really, really well. Um, but that's not why I came out here. I actually came out here because I wanted to do kind of a, uh, a FYI series, um, I guess is what I'm going to call it. Um, I have a lot of things to bring to you all, whether or not it's an update or just uh, some news or stuff like that. So I wanted to make this episode kind of just an episode that I talk to you all because I do a lot of how-tos, I do a lot of guides, a lot of tutorials, all those things. You all know about it. But I rarely ever get to come out here and just talk. And I find it really nice to get home from college and just talk and uh, spend some time in the garden, which uh, which I'm really ha I'm really happy to see that uh, it's been doing so well while I've been gone for a week. So thank you all for being patient too, by the way. Um, but the first thing that I wanted to talk about was high definition. Now, a lot of you probably know, but a lot of you probably don't know as well because there's a way that I can tell if you have been watching in HD or not. And um, don't worry, it's not you specifically, uh, but I can see how many people have been watching in HD versus how many people have been watching in uh, just the regular resolution. And um, it's shocking. Let me tell you, it's shocking. Now I know a lot of people can't view their videos in HD. That's understandable. I mean, not everybody has high-speed internet. A lot of people are viewing on their phones. That's cool. But I wanted to make an announcement for any new viewers all our videos, every single one of MI Gardener's videos since like two years ago have been in the highest resolution. We're talking 1080p. So uh, go down to the lower, let's see here, lower, uh, what would it be for you? Uh, it'd be my right, my right uh, being your left over here. So um, it'll be in the lower right hand corner of your video. There's a little gearbox, click that and you can switch to a higher resolution. I bought a better camera for that reason specifically so that you can have better sound quality and better uh, better video quality so that you can see me in HD because there's nothing like seeing somebody all grainy and not being able to see what they're really showing. So change that quality if you can. If you can't, I totally understand. Now, another thing that I wanted to bring to everyone's attention, um, this is going to be an upgrade. So, um, oh, that was so cool. I don't know if you, I don't know if it caught that or not, um, but if it did, I'm not sure what it, what it caught. But basically, there was a, a little cloud of of maybe like gnats or something. There's like little little tiny bugs flying around, and it was just a, like a kind of a cluster of them. You know how they kind of fly in like a little cloud, and all of a sudden, a uh, dragonfly came through and started feeding on them right while I was filming. That was so awesome. Um, the things you see when you come outside and spend time in your garden, it's amazing. I love nature. Um, so back to what I was saying. Um, so uh, news, um, this is going to be an upgrade for my gardener and I'm very, very excited. So stay patient. Uh, what Cindy and I will be doing is we're going to take some time and basically my gardener will be under construction. Uh, now it won't prohibit you from watching videos, but basically all of our videos will be getting better. Now by getting better, I mean that we're going to go back and fix all of the tags. This was brought to my attention a little while ago and I had no idea about it because when I first started my channel, I was just putting out videos. Um, I didn't really have a schedule and I was just putting out videos to put out videos. Um, 
my mindset kind of changed uh, <laughs> over the years and my mindset originally was I just want to get my videos out you know get them out so the thought behind that is put as many tags on as you can so I don't mean to uh, say it like this but I was very lazy let's put it this way and uh, <laughs> oh man I I kind of screwed up, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, about 300 of my videos all have the same tags. So it was brought to my attention that you couldn't search for anything. And let me first apologize. As someone that is trying to get information to you, any new viewers that have followed, that have began following me, um, you're probably completely lost because the past probably 75 videos have all had proper tags, meaning stuff that actually pertains to the episode. But prior to that, I had them on default and there's a setting that YouTube has where I don't know why in the world you'd select this as a default, but basically you can pick all the same tags. And I'm thinking to myself, this is great, you know, while I'm doing this, but looking back, I'm thinking that was one of the stupidest things I could have done because now you type in like sustainable and it will have every single video or raised bed. It'll show every single video I've ever done. And it's really not an efficient way to get my information to you because I have a lot of people that like binge, uh, binge watching. So if you're that type of person, I like you a lot. Um, I love my binge watchers that just go on a spree and watch 30 of my videos. That's awesome, I love that. Um, but this tagging issue kind of prevents that um, from happening or happening effectively. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time going back and doing every single video. Cindy and I are gonna basically, hopefully, I don't know uh, how that's how she's gonna handle that, uh, but basically we're gonna try to split it 50-50 and um, I'm gonna try to pass off some of my mistake onto her and see if she'll help me out because uh, it's, it's a big undertaking. So be patient, but I suspect it'll take about a month. Um, I'm trying to basically say about 100 a week I want to see if I can get fixed, um, and uh, if Cindy helps, maybe we'll cut down that cut that down to a couple weeks, uh, like two or three weeks. So I'm really excited about that. That is something that's awesome. Now another thing that's awesome uh, for those of you that have not found out yet, I want to make an update. Just an FYI, I've had a lot of questions about growing tomatoes, so I'm going to make this announcement again. For those people that have already seen this, this is going to be old news for you, but anyone else that's new that's watching um, or that's interested, I have a free ebook and a free PDF file on mygardener.com. Uh, you can get to the link on my homepage, and you can also get to the link on my Google Plus page, my Facebook page. There are links to that thing everywhere. So mygardener.com um, has a free ebook for you. I can't remember how many pages it is, but it is so in depth. And I definitely suggest you check it out for anyone that is interested in growing tomatoes. It is uh, basically A to Z on growing tomatoes from disease to uh, different varieties to growing tips to soil preparation, pH, nutrient requirements, those types of things. So definitely go check it out. It is awesome. And I've had a lot of people ask about how to grow tomatoes. So I just wanted to make this little FYI to send you all over that way because uh, I think it's something that absolutely everybody should have at their fingertips and it's free. I made it free for everyone because again, I love free information and who doesn't love free information? That's why I made it free for you. And one more thing of really exciting news is that I went out and purchased a Brix tester. I'm so excited um, to test the refractometer uh, out. That's what it's really called is a refractometer, um, really scientific name. It basically tests the amount of condensed sugars and the nutrient density of your vegetables. Uh, or fruits. So um, I'm really excited for that because I've had a lot of people asking me to try it. Now I'm going to do that this weekend, so cross your fingers, no guarantees on what the numbers are going to be, um, but I'm going to do it either way for you all because I've had so many people request it. Um, and part of the reason why I'm saying, you know, cross your fingers and uh, hope for the best is because it has been a very, very cold and very wet season, and anyone that grows vegetables knows that those seasons are usually the seasons that um, you don't have the most flavorful vegetables. Uh, it's produced very well in terms of kale and Swiss chard and uh, those types of things. But when it comes to things that are meant to be sweet and very juicy and uh, rich flavored, those tend to be more on the drier years actually. And the reason is, is because the sugars conden can condense more because when you have lots of water, it basically is almost hydroponic. 
So if you've ever tried a hydroponic tomato at the store that tastes like cardboard, that's kind of what we're getting here. And I hate to say it, but it's true because they're just getting stuffed with so much water that they really don't have time to have the sugars condense. So that might lead to some false results, but we'll still test it. Um, but then also the cold weather. The cold weather does not allow the sugars to condense. So again, you got two things going at you. Uh, so it's not been hot and it's been very wet. So, you know, we might see something really surprising, off the charts amazing, and uh, we might see kind of what I'm expecting, which is to be a little bit under par for what I would expect for my garden. But that's okay, I mean, I totally understand that because it just comes with the weather. You can't win every battle, so I'm really excited for that. Now, one more thing that I'm very excited for is uh, Jerusalem artichokes. The Jerusalem artichokes I will be doing a harvesting video on, so stay tuned for that. And uh, that's gonna be really exciting because it's the first year that I've grown Jerusalem artichokes. So I don't know what I'm going to get, uh, but I'm gonna harvest them because I wanna get them. They're starting to kind of die back and that's going to be exciting as well. They didn't get as tall as I was expecting, but that will be a video and uh, it'll be a surprise for you as well as for me because I have no clue what's underneath those. It'll be kind of like a second potato harvest, um, so which will be fun. And then another thing that we'll be doing is another uh, batch of Homesteading 101 videos. I had such great feedback on the pickles um, and the canning, or the, the beans, that's what it was, was the beans. I pickled beans, canned beans, and uh, what was the other one? And froze beans, that's right. Um, so that was a very successful video. That was awesome, and I was extremely pleased with how that turned out. So uh, basically what is on the docket for Homesteading 101 will be uh, making pickles with cucumbers. And also, just as a side note, remember that a cucumber can be a pickle, but a pickle is not always a cucumber, just so you know. I've had so many people um, ask to do pickles, and uh, I have to ask them, what do you, what kind of pickles? Is it, you know, pickles. And I'm like, what kind of pickles? <laughs> I, I mean, do you, uh, do you want pickled, pickled eggs, pickled beans, pickled, uh, cucumbers um, and they say no cucumbers you know pickles I'm like <laughs> maybe I should explain so uh, yes there you go so a cucumber can be a pickle but a pickle is not always a cucumber there you go uh, so <laughs> the things you learn right uh, and so I think that's just about it I don't really have anything else it was kind of just an uneventful day and like I said I had some other stuff but I just never got done because it was so loud out here and um, and it was I was just really uh, not wanting my video to continuously be ruined. So you had dogs barking, lawnmowers going, uh, leaf blowers going, and uh, it was just something I could wait for. So I decided I'd switch it up. I got a lot coming out, so be patient and uh, stay excited. I love to bring to you all all the, all the content that I do. So um, it's gonna be a great, great rest of the week. So we got, uh, like I said, coming up, one last review here. Uh, the pickling video will be up, and also the bricks video will be up. So those are two to look forward to. We're gonna make cucumber pickles, uh, wink, wink, and uh, we're also gonna make uh, the, the bricks test happen. So stay tuned for those. And until next episode, this is Luke from My Gardener, hoping you all enjoyed. Thank you for coming out in the garden with me. It's always great. And um, I'm going to uh, go make some dinner, and I'll catch you all later on next episode. Stay tuned, see ya, bye.